fish pepper soup is a meal i really really enjoy cooking why maybe because i have a trick to making the most flavorful the most delicious fish pepper soup friends i kid you not when you taste my fish pepper soup you will know there is a difference in you know this pepper soup from the regular ones one thing i've noticed while trying other people's um fish pepper soup and all of that is that their fish pepper soup is usually very very bland it's not usually flavorful and in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with step by step how to make a very very delicious fish pepper soup friends before you make that next pepper soup in your house i'm talking about fish pepper soup please watch this video and follow it i promise you you will come out with something very delicious friend you are absolutely welcome Hey my friend, my name is Uzums the Billionaire and you're absolutely welcome to today's recipe. Okay, thank you for stopping by. If you're not new to this page, kindly hit the subscribe button to officially join us, like our videos and share. You can as well click the link that is showing right now to watch some of our previous videos. Okay, and if you're not new friends, thank you for always. I really do appreciate all of you. Now let's hop right into this recipe that is gonna bang so much. First thing you want to do is to be flavor friends please follow me in this recipe and I promise you you will not regret it okay first thing first build flavor by sauteing your onion you know with some hot oil okay when the onion is translucent and it has started caramelizing a bit friends allow the onion to fry on low heat everything I did here was on low heat yes allow it to fry okay now add your yellow pepper oh my goodness please whatever you do do not miss adding your yellow pepper the yellow pepper adds so much flavor i mean a lot of depth of flavor to this recipe so please do not miss your yellow pepper okay allow that to cook together with the onion everything i'm doing is on low heat like i said please don't increase your heat though we will not get the same results cook on low heat now i went ahead to add my uziza okay you guys know I love to, you know, cut my veggies at home so that it's pretty to look at and all of that. So, yes, basically I just added my um, chopped uziza leaf, okay, and then a little bit of otazi. You guys know that otazi is very, very bitter, okay? So you don't want to go heavy on that. Please, just a little bit. You guys saw the amount I put just a tiny little bit okay you just needed a little bit just to balance the sweetness from the onion friends if you don't know just know that onion is quite sweet that is why you actually don't add it in all these our local soups but that one is another story for another day okay but the only reason why you need um the otazi in this recipe is you know that bitterness it adds to the pepper soup is very nice and then it balances of the sweetness from the onion okay allow this to cook on low heat friends please let it cook on very low heat i'm hammering low heat because it is so important okay now just allow it i left that for about five to seven minutes on low heat okay now i just went ahead to you know add my fish inside another pot right while the other one is still you know simmering in the pot over there i'm just gonna put my fish and prepare for the next step okay here i'm using um croaker fish feel free to use any fish of choice you can as well use um barracuda i really really love barracuda fish you can use red sniper you can use snapper brother you can use um what's the name of this fish again <laughs> you can use catfish i mean any fish of choice okay now we're going to be building flavor again with the fish first of all i added my of course <laughs> your pepper soup spice okay be very generous with it but do not over add because it's gonna go from sweet uh, to bitter yes so just know how to balance it okay i also went ahead to add my cameroon pepper i also added um a little bit of crayfish just as so and then 
I, I don't know if I've, I didn't show it, but I also added Ofen Salad Spice. Friends, do not miss these spices I just called, okay? Go ahead to season it up with your seasoning cube. It was so hard to break this thing. It was a struggle. I mean, <laughs> so just add it there. Add your salt. If you use salt, I think I used salt for this recipe. Yeah. And, you know, go ahead to marry everything, okay? Friends, my cooker is on but it's on very low heat i mean very very low heat remember the flavor we were building right there now go ahead and add it to the fish friends script all those goodness in there don't be merciful uh, you need that flavor that you built there trust me this particular flavor that we already built with the yellow pepper onion and everything it tastes so good oh my goodness when you try this recipe you understand and then add water you know that is enough for your pepper soup friends trust me this tasted so good oh my goodness friends you want to gently stain everything together please this is fish you don't want to go and be aggressive when stirring this like you can see how gently i did it okay so take your time you can even shake your pot just so that all the ingredients you know that we put in the fish previously and this one that we now added the flavors that we built you know marries together okay me i love to use my corn whenever i'm making fish pepper soup because the sweetness from the corn also helps the fish so i mean if it's not your thing it's okay you can take it out but trust me if you are trying this recipe please go and buy sweet corn you will come back and tell me ah this recipe was so good put that sweet corn just chop it into little pieces okay and then this is not the regular corn friends this is sweet corn sweet corn takes about five minutes to boil okay it boils like really really quick so yes you can add it to your fish it's not the normal corn okay so this is ready like this we're just gonna cover and allow it to cook on very low heat for about 10 minutes now trust me when you open this pot ah god just the aroma is just something else okay when i covered it i went ahead to put my rice on fire but of course Pepper soup and rice, especially fish pepper soup and rice, they go so well. So yes, just go and pop your rice and get ready to enjoy this life. Friends, this recipe, please try it on Sunday. You will be glad you did. And now our pepper soup is ready. Oh my goodness. I wish I could tell you guys how delicious this is. I wish I could literally give it to you to just have a taste. Just have a taste. Trust me, you'll come back begging for another one. Okay. Now all I did was add extra oziza leaf and sorry, I added a furious or scent leaf okay scent leaf this is not this is a leaf please don't mistake it scent leaf and i'm just gonna you know shake it a bit so that it will go round okay remember this is fish you don't want to malhandle it if not it will scatter everywhere it will scatter this is croaker fish croaker fish is very very fragile okay if it's barracuda now you don't have to really really worry because barracuda is a very very strong fish but um, for croaker fish and the legs, you got to be very careful when handling it, okay? That's why I didn't, I wasn't aggressive at all. So, handle with care. Fragile, fragile. <laughs> and basically, our fish pepper soup is ready. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't explain to you how delicious this is. The flavors from the yellow pepper, the onion, you know, that um, um, Cameroon pepper I used and... 
that uziza leaf oh my goodness it was super duper tasty you really need to try this um this pepper soup recipe try it this sunday uh, try it for your family trust me they will they will clap for you they will tell you uh 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 they will hail you so this is that recipe you have to try i'm posting it today because i wanted to try it so try it and then come back and let me know let me know okay friends if you're watching up until now thank you for joining i really do appreciate every one of you if you are not yet a community member ah, what are you waiting for friends kindly hit the subscribe button to officially join us like our video and share friends when you share you actually help us to grow so please share share your whatsapp status let your people also you know learn and they're about uh, literally like helping us so thank you friends okay <laughs> friends i have a couple of videos you will learn from one thing about ozom's kitchen every time you come on here you are gonna learn something new and that is on period trust me when you watch some of our um previous videos you understand what i'm talking about okay so kindly click the link that is showing now to watch some of our previous recipes i'm gonna be showing you you know how to make your afang soup or even your offer there are a lot of recipes there so just click to watch and enjoy finally friends i really really love to hear from you guys oh my goodness let me know what you think about this recipe if you'll be trying it or if you have tried it let me know what you think you know how much you love it shall try this recipe and come back please make sure you come back oh hey come back and tell me oh my god come back and give me back your review you know of what you think and how much you enjoyed it because i know you will love this particular recipe okay <laughs>